Hi, welcome to the Christian Leaders News. I'm Abby Dominiak, and I'm excited, first of all, to report to you guys today that we have added and expanded to our degree month discount for February. So we have now added payment plans for both the associate or bachelor degree to get 20% off of that. Um, this does only apply to tier four nations. Um, so for example, if you're here in the US and you are ready to start an associate or bachelor degree payment, and you can set it up at $25 a month, $50 a month, or $100 a month, and each of these payment plans, you'll be getting 20% off of the degree. So instead of paying $1,250, you would be paying $1,000 for your associate or bachelor degree. Um, I'm gonna have those links below for the $25, $50, or $100 monthly degree payment plans. Um, so we can get that for you. Again, it's gonna be right below. And if you do have questions, you can email amerkel at christianleaders.net. Also, the 25% off full degree payments or payoffs or an extra payment towards your degree is still 25% off using the coupon degree25. And you can as well email Ann for a payoff link. So that's say you have $400 left on your degree, you can get that $400 25% off by asking for a payoff link. Also, I wanted to stress, and I hadn't stressed it in any of the other videos as much, you can also, um, with a link below, make an extra payment towards your associate or bachelor degree, and you can use the coupon degree 25 on that discount. So say you wanted to make a $100 payment towards your bachelor or associate degree, you could get that for $75 instead of $100, but it would count as $100 towards your degree. So this is an incredible opportunity and you have six more days to take advantage of this opportunity and this expanded opportunity of being able to set up a monthly um, payment plan as well. So again, if you have questions, highly encourage you to email amerkel at christianleaders.net, but all of the links and information that you need, um, most of that is going to be below this video or in the email or on your dashboard. Um, so make sure that you check up on that and access any of the links that you're interested in. Next, I am excited to say I am recording here in Florida, and it's a blessing to get a break from the snowy cold in Michigan. I've seen many of you that are in cold areas like I normally am in Michigan. We've been getting a lot of snow, a lot of ice, um, so it's, it's been a wonderful time to get a break from the snow and the cold down here. But I'm down here for more than just a break for the cold. Um, this past week, I had the privilege of being at ABHE meetings. Um, so that's for our USDE accreditation that we're pursuing and we have applicant status with. And I was there with my dad, uh, with Mitch, and with Dr. James Hunt and his beautiful wife, Veronica. And we want a huge congratulations today to Dr. Hunt. He has become the chairman of the Christian Leaders Board. Um, so congratulations to James. That's exciting news. And it was such a privilege to right after that happened because there was a board meeting for Christian Leaders on Tuesday. And then we had the accreditations meetings on Wednesday and Thursday. and. Um, we were able to be there with Dr. Hunt and just celebrate in that exciting news. And he's doing such a great job in helping with our accreditation. And he's a wonderful man of God. And he is leading one of our clubs, the leadership club. So I want to encourage you guys to keep getting involved in these clubs. Um, it's such a great way to connect with this community. And this week, we actually have our Ministry Skills Club. That's gonna be on Wednesday with Professor Steve Alzinga. He's leading this club for the second time. And uh, we again ask that you either pick the 1 p.m. EST or the 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, and join in that fellowship. And Zoom links will also be attached for this club below and on the student dashboard on Wednesday, it'll be top and center. So if you're wanting to join this ministry skill clubs or return to the club, that's gonna be this Wednesday, February 24th, 2021. 
Also, I want to share um, this incredible story that I received on one of our Bachelor of Divinity graduates. This is Sakandi, and I have the privilege of knowing Sakandi a little bit because he serves as a volunteer, but I absolutely love this picture he sent in with him holding his Christian Leader College Bachelor of Divinity degree. And I just want to share a little quote from Sakandi. Surely I have learned a lot from CLI. Courses since 2015 have taught me living in harmony with wisdom with those around me and have brought me to an inner desire for God. Our professors like Dr. David Fettis and President Henry Reinga are a good inspiration to us on how to live godly lives. At this time, I am a volunteer of CLA on developing CLI Uganda team. This has given me more opportunities to share my educational experience at Christian Leaders Institute with students in Uganda. I believe our students' community will grow and my achieving this Bachelor of Divinity will be an inspiration to these students. Well, congratulations again, Zakandi, and thank you for the work that you do in serving as a CLA volunteer and the hard work you put into your degree. You surely are an inspiration to the students in Uganda and those that you're serving with in this huge achievement of your Bachelor of Divinity. So congratulations again. I also want to share about our Christian Leaders Network. So that was uh, last uh, little bit ago, we just released this and it's been on your dashboard. And we're so excited. This Christian Leaders Network has grown um, and we now have 800 members, student and staff on this network. And so we are very excited um, just to see what God's done since we just launched it a little over a week ago and the fellowship that's already taking place. And we have our clubs on the network. We have our news. We have um, a lot of great interaction. And we have also added another piece to this network. Um, we added these worldview characters. So I'm going to take you guys over the network and let's look at what do I mean by worldview characters? So here we are at the network and there's your about. So this is added to the about for you to be able to look at. So you can look over here and here is our worldview story. So that talks about, you know, all, uh, it's a lot about our statement of faith here at Christian Leaders, the creation, the fall, the redemption through Jesus Christ, um, the spread of the gospel in Christianity that is such a huge part of who we are and that we want to raise up more ministry leaders and Christian leaders. And so, um, you know, check out this worldview story. I highly encourage you to look it over. And then we have added these worldview characters. So here is these worldview characters. So we have Phoebe, we have Aquila, Priscilla, Cortis, Gaius, Plenty, and Josephus. So what are these characters? Now they are actually um, going to be moderated by staff and they have an account. So let's look at Phoebe. So we go over to Phoebe on our Christian Leaders Network, if it'll load for me. <laughs> here we go. We're here at Phoebe, and she was a messenger um, from the Apostle Paul, and we can look at her information here and read a little bit about her role as a deacon minister, what she served, and her hobbies. And so Anybody on staff may be in as Phoebe, and Phoebe may post the news or more, may share various things on the Christian Leader Network with you. I want to look at um, a couple of the other characters too. So, Cortis. So, why have we added these characters? I think one of the biggest reasons we have, and I think Cortis is a great example of what this reason would be, Cortis is going to be the Terms and Conditioners Officer at Christian Leaders Network. Um, so we feel that's so important because we've had it in the past where we've had various staff members who have been in charge of moderating the terms and conditions and it can be a lot on one staff member to have that be their responsibility and um, so what we wanted to do is this character Cortis who is all of these characters are inspired by biblical characters and you can read all about that on this page but Cortis will then reach out and it could be any particular person on staff um, those of us at Christian Leaders Ministries in the network will know you know who's taking care of what situation but 
anybody on staff could be in as Cortis and could come across a, a violation of terms and conditions on our network and then can log in as this character and handle um, that situation in a godly and peaceful manner. Um, we've seen Again, it's such a beautiful community already, but there can be things that are on there like the solicitating of money um, or the spamming or rudeness. You know, that's the sort of thing we don't want in our Christian leader community. And Cortis, in a loving way, is going to come alongside any issues we have and reach out to any of the parties involved and you know be able to say hey you know this is this is not the place for this to be posted or to be commented or be said um so you know we've removed it or, or whatever however it's handled so again i think this is just a great way to um you know not only have some fun with these worldview characters and make this network a really fun place but also you know this can kind of help all of us as staff or uh, anybody who's on this team, volunteers, staff that may be involved in this network, this might provide a really great opportunity. So we may be adding more characters, but I wanted to show you guy. Um, I wanted to show you Cortis, and then also we actually do have a character, uh, two characters on here, Plenty and Josephus, who are characters that are not necessarily um, Christians, and we wanted to do this because we know as ministers witnessing, apologetics, evangelism, that is a huge part of what we as a Christian leader need to know how to do. And so uh, those on staff might post as Plenty or Josephus and raise a question for engagement and a discussion and it may help some of us on our skills of evangelism or having a tough conversation with somebody. And again, we're gonna keep it positive, no disrespect. It's going to be, um, again, a way to just build up our Christian leaders in using these characters because we know that in real life, we are dealing with these situations and maybe it's close family or friends who are the ones that don't believe and that need um, to be witnessed through. And sometimes those conversations can happen on social medias like Facebook. And so this is gonna be, again, an opportunity for us to grow with these characters. So I encourage you, check them out, read about them, and you'll start seeing them on the network. Also, if you have not joined our Christian Leaders Network yet, um, or if you had any trouble trying to join, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at cln at christianleaders.net. But here's the URL. If you go right there, you can join our network. We actually have simplified even the registration process just slightly to allow for more and more students to be able to easily get into this Christian Leader Network and join in the community. So I highly encourage you to join the network if you have not yet. I'm loving being on there and loving the engagement and encouragement. Why didn't they play cards on the ark? Because Noah was standing on the deck. <laughs> then I also want to share with you guys this encouragement from Isaiah 43, 19. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the waste land. Um, I just absolutely love this verse. I, I, so many times in life, we, we, we try new things and um, we have to put our trust in God that he is doing a work through us and he is making a way in the hard times through the wildernesses and he is the living water of life and he has given us that living water as Jesus Christ died on the cross for all of our sins and we can have completely new life in him. And so just such an encouragement in whatever area um, or if you're struggling, just keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. God bless you and thank you for tuning in.